It's a challenging market out there, competitive, volatile, and demanding. But with the right combination of products, customers, and marketing strategies, it can also be very rewarding. These days, simply growing a quality product is no longer enough to achieve financial success in agriculture. Now, more than ever before, effective marketing is also essential to economic well-being. This video explores some of the markets that farmers are using to enhance their income and improve the sustainability of their farms. Each market presents different obstacles and opportunities, so farmers should carefully consider what type of market best fits their situation. I'm Karen Mannix, this is Jack Mannix. We're here at Walker Farm in Dummerston, Vermont. Um, we have a diversified operation. Uh, it's two parts, horticulture and vegetable. We farm about 30 acres organically and we have 14 greenhouses. And pretty much uh, been emphasizing the flowers over the last four to five years because they seem to be subsidizing the rest of the operation. <laughs> 25 years ago this summer, we came here to visit Jack's grandfather and helped him with the chores and really liked it and felt like where we needed to be. Um, so he taught us about farming and we tried milking cows, raising pigs, chickens, making apple cider, on and on. We found a couple things that work real well for us. It's growing vegetables and growing flowers. And we also live right on a state highway which has problems, but it also is a great location. Since we have a farm stand right on Route 5, we don't wholesale. We just retail right here, and uh, that seems to be working out. Well, we were very lucky when we started off in this business to get hooked up with uh, some very good caterers and, and restaurant owners who helped us uh, develop our uh, marketing strategy. They taught us that people eat with their eyes, and um, we learned to display with color and presentation. And the same thing carried over into uh, the horticulture where we got hooked up with some upper end gardeners and landscape designers and we did the, the same thing there. One of the things we wanted to do was to develop uh, an upscale market where people really appreciated um, fine flowers and good food and would be willing to pay for that freshness. So we really don't compete with supermarkets because there's no way that they can match what we offer every day. And, uh, so we developed a marketing strategy uh, with, the, with our horticultural and caterer friends. Um, they, they taught us what people wanted or what people would want in the future because they were um, privy to interesting things coming down the pike. And so working in cooperation, cooperation with them, we uh, came up with products that uh, really challenged our clientele. In order to keep our upscale customers and, uh, and to keep them happy, we send out catalogs of our flower material in the early uh, spring, late winter, and they're able to pre-order uh, for a fee. And we gather up stuff for them, and it's all ready when they come, and they can just put it in their car and go. We also have uh, developed a website where people can uh, log on and download our catalogs. I think the... Uh the single most important thing for marketing is to have people working in your stand that understand that making eye contact with your customers, being friendly, making a little chat, um, giving them respect to the customer is, is your best marketing tool. Uh, for someone to come in and feel like, okay, here's a, here's a person that, that we like, it makes all the difference. We also pay our stand people more than our field workers because we feel that the marketing is where we need to put our emphasis the most. And they're, they're the, it's, just about anybody can grow a good tasting tomato, but it takes uh, an expert to sell a good one, especially during tomato season. What seems to work for our farm stand is to have lots of please and thank yous. All of our employees are encouraged to do a lot of that and to keep everything as spotless as possible. Cleanliness is a really nice attribute 
concerning food, and quality control. Everyone's encouraged if they see something on display that doesn't look up to our standards, throw it out. One of the things we wanted to do was to connect uh, the people that shop here with our farm. So we developed this uh, program we, we called the wraparound, which means instead of having people just stop, go into the front of the stand and get back in their car and go, we, we widened our display area with gardens and greenhouses and um, other attractions to bring them around behind the farm and into the fields so they could connect with the cows and the vegetables and the flowers and really feel like uh, Walker Farm was a part of their life. It's really important to keep in touch with what your customer needs. And we have done surveys that, uh, where we ask them questions about what they'd like to see here, how we can improve, and we usually give them like a free tomato plant or a free flower for filling out the survey. W one of the ways that uh, we, we can keep improving our business uh, is during the off season, going to the seminars and educational uh, uh, meetings and doing a lot of reading. And during the season, we take time off to visit other farm stands and do a little corporate espionage and stealing their best ideas and using them here because everything that we do here, we've learned from other people. The main thing is to have fun with your employees and uh, with your customers and, and your marketing will just take off from there. But uh, the thing that the message that, I, that should be given out to all people is that there's a lot of money in this business and it's, uh, there's wide open opportunities in agriculture. And even though you hear a lot of doom and gloom stories, especially unfortunately from the dairy section, this is uh, a great field of opportunity.